Welcome back to Curse Shady HD. I'm Jackie. Whew. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. You're a one hit wonder, I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam fam. Oh, I love to eat it every day. Cause if you ask me why I'll say. <laughs> this is the third installment of What's in My Closet. I'm pretty sure it's third. Enjoy. Take it away, Closet Jackie. Yep, still wearing the same thing because hyperfocus is real. I'm shopping my stash. I am kind of reacquainting myself with old Jackie, trying to figure out what her mindset was when she purchased this yarn. I do know just by looking at this third bag that mm, some of the stuff in here is not as old. Some of this I actually bought either late last year, 2022 or early 2023. And as always, I like to blame people and this I blame on Taylor from Wool Needles Hands because she just sold me on uh, Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. So it's her fault. And if you're curious, I got these bags at Dollar Tree. I did vacuum, vacuum seal them at one point. Um, then I started going in and out of them a lot, so it didn't help. But if you're like me and you don't like to lug the vacuum cleaner out every single time you want to seal up your bag, watch this. You take your bag, you press down, as much as you possibly can and you slide over this little okay you should slide over the thing to the almost end first squish this down <laughs> oh sports okay come on Hopefully editing Jackie will make me look not like a crazy person. Okay, squish it down. Slide this little thing all the way over and then stand up. Ta-da! All that and then I gotta open it. Yay! Fisherman's wool. These were on top. This one is Nature's Brown. It is uh, 227 grams, 465 yards, or 425 meters, 100% wool, and it is a worsted weight number four. I have one, I have two of those. I have three of those. Then I have two of the natural and the yardage is also the same and this felt really well and it also takes dye really well when i first started using this yarn it was for the simple fact of dyeing my kids and, and i played around with uh, kool-aid dyeing and we did a lot of that and then um, we started making wool dryer balls, you know, it's a natural uh, fabric softener. And, I, and then I, nope, I had that backward. I was color dyeing it, or I was Kool-Aid dyeing it. And then I would take that wool and I was crocheting wool soakers, which go over cloth diapers because wool is anti everything and it also helped to kind of maintain the moisture from cl cloth diapers anyway but i bought this uh last year no nope. this was the rest of that sweater that i had told you about last time that i had frogged and you could still see like the ramen noodle effect and uh, I have no idea how much this is. I should probably weigh it. So uh, I'm going to set it to the side 
and hopefully I'll remember to weigh it and then editing Jackie can put the weight over there. Ooh. This little guy, this little guy is Wool of the Andes in my TARDIS blue. I don't know how he ended up in another bag. Then I have this. Uh, I don't remember what this is. I do know it's 100% wool. And it obviously was something else because it also has the ramen noodle Rastafarian look. And it's not the same color as the other blue. Part of me, it's like as soon as I looked at it, right, I could see what it was. And then when I tried to say what it was, the name just flew literally out of my mind. So it looks, it looks a little thicker than four weight. So I know the lighting in this room is really bad. It, I have a ceiling fan, but it only has one bulb and it's supposed to have three. So I apologize. Hopefully editing Jackie can do something about the light too. Yeah, I can't recall what this is, but I think I got it from my knitting friend. So if that is the case, it is definitely a knit picks yarn because that was the only yarn that <clears throat> she uh, would use. And then this is what is left over from my bougie bell sweat uh, sweater that I made this year. Um, Lion brand fisherman's wool. And I'll have editing Jackie put the name of the yarn because it's on my Ravelry page. Remember last last time I had told you about the yarn that I had dyed using like soap making colors and stuff. And I said that the yarn was like vintage yarn. This was the yarn. I don't, I honestly have no idea how it came into my possession, but I had, I had a lot of it. Here's the, I uh, guess the wrapper. Come on. All right, let's see. I don't know if it's pure natural colored wool or pure co colored natural wool. I don't know what order to read that in. It's from Australia. It just Nature Wool PTY Limited, eight ply, Maya Maya Victoria, Australia. This product has been hand blended from 100% natural colored wools. No artificial dyes used. The color highlights give the yarn both natural and variable shade effects. Shades available, silver gray, storm, charcoal, country cream. This pack contains country cream. Okay, so country cream. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And what is interesting, let me show you the, it's kind of boucle-ish. It, it's like bumply. I had two more of these and that is what I used to dye uh, those other two pieces. And I'm pretty sure these are part of the same except it just said that it was natural colors and I don't think I've seen any natural sheep this color. But it has the same texture. So, does it say what the yardage was? No. Oh, 100 grams. Eight ply. <sighs> 
So math, more math. You know, if somebody told me, hey, I got a craft for you that you're going to love. You're going to be able to create all kinds of things for yourself, for your friends, for your animals, for everything that you could possibly want. And it's going to bring you hours and hours, years and years of peace and contentment and contentment. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to give you clarity. It's going to help you relax. I'd have been like, yes, sign me up. And then they say, oh, and you're going to have to do math. First of all, they should have led with that. Because me and math. I mean, we've had better days. Don't get me wrong. We get along kind of OK now, but back in the day. Nope. Mm hmm. And the last thing that was in this bag was a remnant of the natural fisherman's wool from Lion Brand. What I want to know from you this time is, what do you think I should, oh, this could be like my cardigan, my, I, want a cardigan cardigan if I know if I can figure out what the yardage is um because what six yeah six of the undyed what do they call it cream and then two three of the blue depending on yardage maybe Maybe, because I definitely want a cardigan off, an off-white cardigan. And I don't see why this couldn't, wouldn't fit the bill. Of course, I also do have this. I, I want to find out more about this guy. Or these guys, I should say. That is all of the wool from the Closet of Shame. I already know that I'm fairly certain the three of these are enough to make a cardigan because it was at 465 times three. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's enough to make a cardigan, even with like, you know, adding in some of this. Well, whatever. Um, I'm going to see if I can find more information and whatever I find, maybe I'll have it by the time this video is finished and then I can share it with y'all. This one's just the oddball because it is a thicker. Could it possibly be knit picks? <gasps> it, it's knit picks swish. Yeah. And I had made a, so like what, 2008, 2009, anthropology had a shrug and then it went, you know, bananas. There was a knitting pattern and then someone made a crochet pattern based off of the knitting pattern, based off of the anthropology, uh, pattern and I made so many of those capelet shrug things and I that's what this was and I frogged it for some reason so yeah I'm pretty sure this is nitpicks swish bulky in the navy whatever color I have some more of the Swish Bulky, which really needs to be in one of these bags because right now they're just in my, what did we call it? The SS C room, the C C S S S. It's the crochet sewing soap room, SCS. I can't remember the room that I uh, do my 
filming and, you know, my craft room. It's just sort of in there and it should be with its own people. And it'll start to smell like these other wool yarns. But it's a different color, so it's not like I could go with this at all. It's like Laguna or Teal or... It's this color. No, it isn't. No, I lied. It's... It's this color. God, my memory is horrible. Yep, I'll pop a picture in it. You can see. Either way, it does not go with that. Okay, that was all. That was all of the wool. The last bag is cotton. And I can't even begin to think of what is in that. And I don't know when I will see about that because as much as my my hyper focus is really on sitting on the floor is not so comfortable so I'm throwing it back to Jackie of the past of the future I'm throwing it back thoughts that's all of the wool. I'm lying. That is all of the bags wool. I do have some wool in the drawer and I think I'm just going to incorporate everything that's in the drawer into one video. And then the last one will be the bag of cotton bags of cotton. Okay. If this is your cup of tea, if you like a little bit of everything, if you just want to know stuff that might pop up on a on a trivia game, stick around. Join the Glam Fam by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie. <laughs>